Coulson's hand. hand. It's a pretty cool one because it does all the stuff with the shield. And, and you made that, so that's quite nice. I did. It's all about Ian. Mine is the hollow table. Absolutely. Brings it back to season one. Um, that was our first sort of major gadget on the bus. Without the VFX, just seeing our actors try to figure out where to put yeah. their hands and, and do the thing that they do. <laughs> the uh, gyrosphere, the big gyrosphere that we created for the uh, Gravitonium, which uh, was a completely CG creation set piece the professor actually fell into and was absorbed by Gravitonium. I don't know if it's a gadget, but I'm gonna have to say the shotgun axe. I mean, really? I mean, that defines Mac. I have to say the one that I love the most is many of the things that come from my synthetic arm, but mostly the shield, the very Cap-esque shield. My favorite gadget is the Cree Orb. I just think from a design function and uh, the way that it performed in the scenes was one of my favorite things. My favorite gadget on the show was the one that was the, was the one at the end of episode one where where we we touch right on the origins of Shield and all the greatest comic book moments and we introduced Lola. Uh, I think that made everyone uh, who was a fan of Shield, the, the, the comic book or the Marvel universe, uh, very very happy. From the very beginning, when the show was first coming together, we had decided that they would all live on the bus. As time went by in order to bring S.H.I.E.L.D. into a more weaponized state. We got the new bus, the Zephyr. One of the most important gadgets probably on the series is Nick Fury's toolbox. It was this small black box that Fury gave Coulson as sort of a, it's a get out of jail free card. Uh, it contained all this information uh, and data uh, for them to sort of continue their fight even though they were going underground. Uh, and really propelled a lot of story for the seasons to come. Favorite gadget, I'd have to say it's probably this baby here, the Darkhold. Definitely not on Oprah's top 10 list.